to pray and we are going to present the service before the Lord and we are going to ask the Lord to have his way we are going to pray for those that might have requests that have not sent forth you know all those requests that are on your heart and in your mind we are going to pray about it and we are going to tell God all about it as we bow our heads and we close our eyes let us just pray ah Jesus we come before you we say thank you great God we say thank you for everything that you have done thank you for life thank you Jesus for this blessed opportunity mighty God to worship you and Lord Jesus as we come before your presence we just want to say Lord Jesus wash us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness Lord Jesus Create within us clean heart, Lord God, that our prayers be not in the Lord Jesus. Because your word said, if iniquity is in our heart, you will not hear us. And because we want you to dwell among us, mighty God, we are saying, wash us. Purify our hearts and our mind, Lord Jesus. Cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable before you even now, Lord Jesus. God, we present ourselves before you. We present our unspoken requests before you, Lord Jesus. God, you are the one that sees our hearts and the desires, mighty God. And you said in your word, Lord God, if we delight ourselves in you, you'll give us the desires of our heart, mighty God. So we pray, great God, that we'll delight in you today. And that we will, Lord God, have and get the desires of our heart, Lord Jesus. God, whether it's healing, mighty Mighty God in your name because it's by your stripes we are healed. Mighty God whether it's provision mighty God. You are Jehovah Jireh mighty God and you provide Lord Jesus. And we just want to say thank you great God. We pray Lord Jesus that you will have your way among us. That your Shekinah glory will be Lord God round about each and every one of us. Wherever we may be Lord God even in the home Lord God. Streaming even now Lord God, we pray that your present Lord Jesus will saturate mighty God, your people Lord God, and I pray mighty God that as we worship you God, our expectation Lord God is to just send up all the praise and allow your blessing to be upon us great God. We pray Lord Jesus that you love your way among us, that as your Holy Spirit will guide Lord God and lead, we pray even now mighty God that you'll remember those that desire Desire, Lord God, your Holy Ghost. Those that are unsaved, mighty God, even streaming. And we pray, great God, that you will send a word, Lord God, to minister into their spirit, Jesus. A word, Lord God, that will be deliverance to their soul. A word, God, that they will cry out, I heal, I heal. I cannot take it no more, but I must surrender, Lord Jesus. I pray, great God, that as your spirit will lead, mighty God, that will go through, mighty God, every cable mighty God that connect mighty God to the live stream Jesus and touch heart mighty God we pray that you will have your way you are not restricted Jesus by anything and for this we say thank you thank you, thank you for what you're about to do and what you're doing even now Lord God in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus and can we all say in Jesus name hallelujah in Jesus name Hallelujah. Praise God. Can you turn with me in your Bibles to Philippians chapter 4? And we will be reading from verse 6. Philippians chapter 4 from verse 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, Think on these things, saints of God. Think on these things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord, everybody. And we're going to turn in our hymnal to 265. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God, you are worthy. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Guide me, O thou great Jehovah.
wonderful God. What a wonderful Jesus. Praise God, praise God, praise God. Praise God. He's an awesome God. We want to give God thanks and praise this morning for being here to lift him up and to magnify him and to sing songs of praises unto his holy name. He's an awesome God. And we thank him for the God who he is. Nothing takes him by chance. Nothing takes God by chance. And we are so honored that he is our God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Singers, I'm feeling very happy. I'm feeling very happy. Talking about the good old days. I'm feeling very happy. Talking about the Lord. Just a little in the precious name of Jesus it's a good thing to be alive and it's a good thing to give hallelujah to give thanks to an awesome God to a big God praise God praise God praise God when I look and see all that is happening and now God has been good I want to say wonderful 
wonderful Jesus is to me sing that one let's sing let's sing that one wonderful wonderful yes. wonderful yes. Jesus is to me mighty God counselor prince of peace is he in saving me keeping me from all sin and shame wonderful is my redeemer Jesus is to me, I 
God is sharing his title deed with us. He shares his title deed with us. My God. My God. So now you realize that part of this hurt belongs to me because God won it. And heaven is an awesome God. Yo. Glory to his name. Glory to his name. I feel good. I feel good, Rev. When I remember how oh, Jericho designed them wall. Them designed them wall for no other nation or army to penetrate it. Them designed it that nobody them fortify them city. But them never realize that there is a God who never need an army. All he needed was a shout. A shout take down the impenetrable wall. Just a shout. When you have Christ within and you are a joint here, you don't need confrontation. You just need to march in silence. And when God says shout, Jesus, I feel like I feel nice. I feel nice. My God. I, I look at it. I said, Elder, no other army could not penetrate it. So when them see the little nation, I walk on it. Them not pay them no mind. Because when them are looking and come in, them are walk on something with them can't conquer. So them never even watch them. Because them never pose a threat. Hallelujah. 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 You see why we as Christians we don't need to listen to what people are saying. We are here to <laughs> people are listening to the noise. But they're not seeing where God said. I'm not the preacher, but I feel like I could have preached. I, I feel I have a word I could have preached. I feel I have a word could have preached, Elder. What kind of situation you have? Where the devil are trying to tear down? Eh? What kind of situation the devil... Listen, stop talk. Stop talk. Stop. The, the devil ain't telling your relationship. It ain't telling your life. It ain't telling your children's life. Stop talk. Israel blood. She was rejected because she was unclean. But Jesus was passing and she said, if I could but just touch the hem of his garment, I don't want to go in front of him. Because Bishop was in front of him. Elder was in front of him. I was a clean to go in front of him. So I was behind him. And I said, if I could but just touch him. But when I touch him, I was brought into an audience. He only was in the system. I was brought into an audience. Jesus said, who touched me? Bishop said, me, Jesus. When I can't say, me, Jesus. Jesus said, no man, you know you touch me. Somebody pull something out of me. Something come out. She was on the ground in her shame. She had walked with her baggage. Everybody was stepping on her, but she didn't care. They mash her finger, but she never cared. She wanted to touch. Teach up. Greet this congregation. Greet this congregation. I really feel, I really feel charged. Greet this congregation, Bishop. Praise. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. What a good God. What a great Savior. What a mighty God we serve. 
angels bow before him heaven and earth adore him a great big wonderful god my god my Praise god, god my god what a god the lady with the issue of blood what a god Praise just god. one touch yes. and her entire life was transformed that's the god that we serve i challenge somebody just to reach out and just one touch and your lives will be transformed this Praise. is the god that we serve this is the god that we present to you this is the god of gods the king of kings and can i declare this morning that his name is jesus put Praise your hands god. together and give Praise. jesus a, a grand applause he's worthy to be praised yes indeed from the rising of the sun to the going down of the very same this jesus is worthy to be praised i greet you all in the wonderful precious miraculous powerful name of our lord and savior jesus christ it is in him that we live and move and have our being and we owe it all to him we magnify him we lift him up we elevate him we honor him and we do everything in our power to give glory to him i greet every one of you in this matchless wonderful holy and precious name to this to the visitors that are joined in we recognize what is happening and the place is shut down but guess what we may have a total shutdown it might be that we are unable to walk around and to move around but I'd like to see the man that can shut down our praises. Oh, I'd love to see the government that can tell any one of us to not praise God for seven days. That cannot happen. You can stop me and lock me up in my house for seven days. But you can't stop me from loving my Lord. You can't stop me from serving my Lord. So I take what is happening in light of the situation but excuse me let me praise the Lord excuse me and let me worship him. I thank God that he has given us the privilege Amen. so that even if we are not in the sanctuary yes. in our even if it's a one room house you have praise in God. that one room you can praise God yes. and bring heaven down praise. oh glory be to God and so to all the saints to all the visitors you have joined us via the worldwide web we are still having church in the midst of the pandemic in the midst of the lockdown in the midst of seven days and in the, in the midst of those seven days there are some days of no movements but that is on the street in my bathroom I'm gonna jump and skip in my bedroom I'm gonna shout and give glory to God and I challenge the saints of the most high God you're in some of you whose neighbors don't even know that you're Christians now is a good time to let them hear you and know that a Christian is next door oh can we praise the Lord everybody praise God amen I greet you in Jesus name let's continue to worship God in spirit and in truth and in the beauty of holiness just before I take my seat minister see you come in there. stand up right there so don't come any closer until as we catch this one there was a time on earth we pull the in book quick we have to sing even two verse and then I hand over to you when in the book of heaven an old account was standing for things yet unforgiven my name was at the top yeah, not yours you know but mine was at the top because of the things that I did and the places that I've been and many things below but I went on to the keeper and settled it long ago I wonder if anybody have that similar testimony I wonder if you were deep down in the pit and he reached way down and brought you up I wonder if any body here was a wanderer over in the wilderness far away but thank you God thank God we can sing this song and glorify his great 
name. Sing there that. was a time on earth when in the book of heaven, come on now. I know the count was standing. Oh, sing it on for me, but my name was at the top. Yes.
Bless God. I feel mercy. Come here, Rabbi. Lend, lend the rabbi a mic for me. This is a holy and an anointed man of God. I, I, I am holier than him in age, but he is holier than me with the wisdom and the anointing of God. I just want him to say a word. Just one sentence. Devil ain't have nothing on us. Hallelujah. You can say two sentences or a paragraph. Hallelujah. Praise God. Lift your hands and worship the King of Kings. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus. Jesus. Praise God. Jesus. Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. The scripture says it's of the Lord's mercies why we are not consumed. Praise God. For his compassion yes. fails not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Praise God. One Praise last God. word. Yes. And rather we are doorkeeper in the house of the Lord. Yes. Than to dwell in the tents of wickedness. Praise God. God bless you. In Jesus name. Thank you, sir. God bless you. God bless you. Let me tell you. People normally are shy. But when they stand to talk about God, you'd wonder if them say them shy. Praise God. I know you're shy. But when you stand up to talk, praise God. At this time, we're about to collect our tithes and offering. And you're going to be seeing it running across the screen. You can go to your phone, go to your laptop or your tablets, and you can... Uh, do your transaction. The praise team is going to be ministering. But I'm going to be praying. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus God, we thank you for your great love, for your anointing. We thank you, Lord Jesus God, for the many gifts that you have given unto us. You have given us life. You have given us health. Jesus, you have given us wealth. You have given us families, Lord Jesus God. You have given us enemies. Lord Jesus God, and we thank you for every gift that you have given us. Lord God, you have provided us with jobs. You have provided us with the source to live and to purchase that which we need, Lord Jesus God. And so God, as you have given unto us, Lord God, we are going to give back to you a tenth of what you have given us, Lord Jesus God, so that your house will have bread so no man can come to your house and not be fed. Jesus, Lord God, bless every hands, every feet, every mind, everybody. Jesus, Lord God Almighty, bless and multiply. Let it do that which we can't do with our own hands. But together, Lord Jesus God, you can reach where we can't reach. Bless, Lord Jesus God, as we give you thanks in Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise the Praise, Praise God. God. Just before the Praise God. Just before the singers go, we are gonna yes, we are gonna have a, a baptismal service. Amen. So in the midst of all that is happening, amen. In the midst of the lockdown, you know, it comes tomorrow or comes uh, in a little while. In a little while. So based on what we are doing and to be in conformity, amen. We are going through. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Elder Rohan Smith is across the road and Praise across God. the way. And Praise he's lining up to put on the, a soul in the wonderful, precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise God. So praise team, if you want to do some choruses, I don't know how you're going to do it, but just amen. And on. Amen. Praise God. Is it that praise it just God. happened in yes, the name of Jesus? Happened. Come on, we praise the Lord, everybody. Praise Come on, praise we praise God. the Lord, everybody. Praise so just God. In Jesus' name. In praise Jesus' God. name. Praise God. Praise amen. God. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Go ahead, praise team. Yeah, some
Praise God. Praise God. I'm on this. I'm on the stairway to heaven today. I'm climbing higher and higher each day. And when I reach the upper steam, I step inside the pearly gates. I'm on the stairway to heaven today. I'm on the stairway to heaven today. I'm 
God. What an awesome God. What an awesome God. Praise God. We want to give God thanks for his anointed presence that we feel here. And it's come time for the word. And we are going to be asking our bishop to come. Come with a word, sir. And speak. Thus said the Lord. Give a word in this time of warfare. We are in serious warfare. Serious battle. But as we were built for war, we are going to declare the word of God to sustain us in the word of God. Come, Bishop. Come and minister the word of God. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Amen. Before I praise God, before I even read the scripture, allow me to publish the band. Praise God. Let me just get the want to publish the band of marriage. Praise God. I lost the band. I can't find it. I had it a while ago. Praise God. It looked like them can't marry them. The last the band. Praise God. Praise God. And so I'd like to publish, amen, the band of marriage between Hakeem Javon Shields. Brother Hakeem Shields. Hakeem Javon Shields and Camilla Chanille Lewis. Amen. I published a band of marriage between these two youngsters. If anyone have any just reason why they should not be joined, you are asked to, amen, state your case. The Lord bless them. Let's remember to pray, amen, for this couple and for all our saints that are getting married. Amen. Pray for them. Pray much for them. Very important because the adversary is doing everything that he can, working overtime to destabilize, amen, an institution that God himself ordained. Amen. And we want to make sure that as we go and as we do what we have to do, amen, we are in the will of God and we are depending on his words amen to navigate us through so remember to pray praise God I'm going to ask amen elder Smith just to pray at this time in the name of the Lord Praise God, praise God. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus God, we thank you. Lord Jesus God, we know that you are here. We feel your presence. As your servant, Lord Jesus God, stand between you and your people. Anoint him, Lord Jesus God. Anoint him to speak your word. Jesus God, we pray that you will bind every enduring force. Let your word come forth with him, Lord Jesus God. Let it come out of him, Lord God, with fire. Lord God Almighty, that it will cut through the heart and the soul of man, Lord Jesus God, and restore them. Anoint him, let him speak, Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, let your will be done to him. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And I greet all of us, every saint. Again, I greet you, every visitor. I greet you. Amen. I greet all our ministers that are here standing up. Amen. With me, Elder Smith, Dika, Minister. Minister, he loves to pray now, so don't worry about it. Amen. Minister Mattox, amen, Elder Martin, all the singers that have, 
Amen. Greetings in the wonderful, precious name of Jesus. Amen. I hope to just take a few minutes. Amen. Just to, amen, remind us. Amen. Nothing new, but given the seriousness of the times that we are in, given the things that are happening around us, looking around and observing the fear in the eyes and the hearts of many, not only of the folks in the world, but even within the church. People who, given what is happening, should be doubling down and worshiping God and looking up to heaven. There are some saints that are petrified at the things that are happening and then there are so many more who are unsure and I want to just take the next few moments to remind us and to allow us to know that indeed something is happening. I have found that individuals and it is the nature of man once something has happened a time or two we become acclimatized and after a while things that we should be fearful of we lose the fear because we have become used to some things happening there was a time when folks would not do some things in church but after doing it still and the fear that would be there and you would leave to go to the altar to say god forgive me after you do it again if you don't if you if we're not careful and deal with it and it happens again and it happens again what happens is that our system become acclimatized to doing the thing and the fear and the trembling that was once there is no longer there and then we think that everything is all right and it is all right to do some things that are wrong if you recall when we just got saved and after a while we did some things that were wrong it seemed as if it is the end of the world our stomachs were tearing out we thought we were going to die our conscience is pricked us and was uh, grabbing at us to say you are going in a wrong direction and quickly we will find the altar those that are wise would do everything to try to walk a certain way because their conscience bear witness with their spirit that if they go over yonder something is not right but if we push against our consciences and if we push against the spirit of God and if we trample the things that are sacred after a while we are going to be left on our own and then our consciences are going to become seared and things that were repugnant we are going to embrace things that were uh, smelly we are going to hold on to it and walk into it and the smell will not affect us anymore and so we have to be very careful that we do not become acclimatized to some things i i say that to bring this other point that even as we speak about the end times and how we are to be prepared for the coming of the lord when certain things start to happen people children of god recognizing that there is a shift and something start to happen all of a sudden we draw back and we go into some days of fasting and we try to get it right but if the thing that propelled us to go to god and repent and draw near to him if that thing happen again and happen again and and, and keep happening for a little while the desire to to go to god to make things right kind of wanes and so after a while things that should ready us and steady us no longer move us but i want to stand this morning as a watchman and to be clear that there is something on the horizon and every child of god ought to be aware and to start to move if we have not yet started to put our houses in order i would like us to understand that things are not as they were 20 years ago i would like us to understand that there is a, a change and that there is a move and that there is a shift i would like us to know that we as children of god ought to be very discerning uh, jesus would 
rebuke some leaders in his day. He told them they were able to look up in the sky and based on how the cloud formation was, they could tell if it was going to rain or if it was going to be a certain weather condition. And he upbraided them and rebuked them because he said you're able to discern the signs of the time in terms of the seasons, but you're unable to discern some things about the, the, the coming of the Lord. It is important that as children of God we recognize where we are and I want to use my position to stand as a watchman to remind the people of God that we are at a certain point in time. I want to jerk some saint of God into understanding that these are not ordinary times but there is a difference, there is a release and an onslaught of demonic influence and power across the land and we cannot just sit down as if nothing is happening and going through life as if we are in a Sunday school picnic. These are terrifying days. These are frightening moments. The people of this world are scared to death and even in the church of the living God some of God's people are scared as to the things that are happening around us and you're not even sure what to do but I want to stand upon this perch this morning and stand as a watchman looking over and seeing the dust in the horizon rising up I want to blow a trumpet this morning for the people of God to hear a certain sound to know that danger is ahead and we ought to get in rank and we ought to fall in line because something is on the horizon oh can we praise the Lord something is on the horizon it cannot be business as usual it cannot be walking as usual we have got to get up we have got to be discerning we have got we, we better be looking up and make sure that our walk with God is on par. The Bible tells us in the book of Isaiah, I want to read just a, a simple scripture from Isaiah 21, verses 11 and 12. The burden of doom, he called to me out of fear. Watchman, what of the night? Watchman, what of the night? The watchman said, the morning cometh, and also the night. If he will inquire, inquire ye, return, come. Let me tell you, saints of God, and as I read that, I want to jump over to another scripture. In the book of Revelation, Revelation chapter number 13 and verse 16, and he calls it all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, 17, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. I want us to understand, children of God, that we are living in a serious time. We are living in a moment in history, a moment in time where this generation have seen some things happening that others in the past who believe it would not believe if they saw it in their times. We are living in a time when all the things that were written and spoken of in the book of Luke and in the book of St. Matthew and the other books of, of the New Testament about the end times. We are seeing in this day that you and I are living in all of these signs coming together and converging as one into one. Never a time before this time was there the nation of Israel being in their land and then and then the technology as we know it now coming together to the extent that we can be at one place and see everything that is happening right around the world. Never before has there been a time when all 
all the things that were spoken about in the book of St. Matthew about the wars and the rumors of wars. Yes, there were wars all along, but can we recall a time outside of now when the wars and the rumors of wars and the earthquakes and the pestilence and the nation of Israel becoming uh, back into their land and all of these things have converged right about this time. Some Thing is happening you and I live right now in a period where the pandemic has swept over the world all of a sudden we woke up to hear that we better isolate all of a sudden we are in church and I can't even make out your face sister Graham you've got to remove the mask so that we can see exactly who you are all of a sudden you've got to sit over there and I sit over here and we self distance ourselves all of a sudden we are hearing that if you don't go we are going to push you to get vaccinated make no mistake about it it started out as you choose but then as things got worse or as the thing turned up it removed from you choose to you better get it and if you don't have it you can't go into restaurants again I don't know if you know what's happening around if you don't have it teachers some teachers gonna get bonus and certain things and others not going to get it we've got to recognize what is happening yes this pandemic is not the mark of the beast so somebody said bishop have you taken the the, the vaccine as yet and i told them no they said they're not gonna take it they said, go on and take it it's not the mark of the beast my wife has taken it my children has taken it i am going to take it so i'm not talking about that i'm not one of those preachers that said don't take it because it is the mark of the beast it is not but i want us to know that as we look at what is happening look at the shutdown look at the locking away look at the government can tell everybody in every country around the world one government official the head of government can tell you to go into your house and don't come out and everybody go in so that somebody is coming brothers and sisters who is going to be in charge of the governments of the world because it is no more sovereign countries the bible said that in a little while there is going to be a ruler that is to come and he is going to have rule and sway over the peoples of this world years ago folks said that is crazy and when we preach like this they'll say these are fanatics but i want you to know children of god that right before our eyes it is happening and before you know it everybody is going to be vaccinated in jamaica and in the caribbean and across north america and across europe and across africa and across asia in other words right across the board can i be bold enough because i know a few like a watchman and I don't want to be like one of those watchmen that they're afraid to tell you what is coming they don't want to hurt anybody's feeling but it doesn't matter to me how you feel if we start to talk about the word of God I am concerned about you but not about the feelings because it is important that if we understand the word and the word said days are coming when it is going to be rough uh, it might sound like a message of gloom and doom but don't worry it is a message of truth and it is preparing you and preparing your minds for what is to come we believe sometimes that the rapture is going to come before everything start to unfold and we will miss it all well we are still here and vaccination going on and people getting joke and people are being afraid for the things that are happening around us we are still here and look at the crime situation not just in Jamaica but right around the world we are still here and look at what is happening over in Afghanistan and all the nations of the earth are trembling because a terrorist group has taken back over a country 
and they are about to if they have yet, not yet executed about 200 and not Christians I would like you to know that some terrible things are going to be coming upon the land as we know it some serious things are going to be coming I believe that what is happening with this pandemic is shaping things up for what is to come ultimately and it is not far away the Bible in Revelation 13 that we just read said that a day is coming when a certain man is going to cause all small and great rich and poor to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead brothers and sisters it is coming brothers and sisters saints of the most high God that day is coming we might not be here in the sense of when the day itself comes but guess what the things that are leading up to that time is going to still catch us here because this pandemic notice a few things quickly it is geared to destroy the economies of the world it was predicted that it should have ceased mid last year into September but I understand that the economic collapse that should have ensued did not happen. So it continued to the end of the year 2020. And the economic collapse that should have happened still did not happen. So a new variant came. And then I understand that if it still do happen, another worse one is to come. Then I hear now that those that are in the know says that look here delta is here but all of a sudden you hear about the new one after delta and it is coming look here brothers and sisters it is possible that we might be in for a long ride with this pandemic our economy is on the brink yet some time ago it was booming it's no fault of the government or the opposition it is a pandemic that had its origin outside of jamaica and the countries of this world are buckling under the pressure. Their economies are buckling. Everything is about to cascade. Everything seems to be tumbling. The United States of America, which was the economic superpower of the world, not even to mention the military superpower, they lapped their tail and ran out of Afghanistan in shame a few days ago. And now, so that is it for military might. And now their economy is upside down. If the economy of America tumbles, the economies of many countries of this world is going to follow suit because we are directly dependent on the United States of America. I am saying all of this to say and to make the point that the future doesn't look good where things are concerned on this earth. The future in this secular state and in this secular world does not look good. We are heading for catastrophe. We are heading for a major havoc and upheaval. I want you to know, somebody might say, I don't like to hear those kind of preachers. All he preaches is gloom and doom. But sorry, I'm just preaching the Bible. And there is nothing we can do to stop it. It is on its way. But I want to stand right here and perch myself up as if I am on the watchtower because I'm looking way over yonder and I'm seeing the dust going up and I'm blowing the trumpet this morning because I want some of God's children who are not walking with him I want some of God's children who have taken the word of God lightly and have trampled the things that are contained in the book to draw back and recognize that we are living in a serious time and any day you know things will turn I believe that things are going to get progressively worse I believe that things are going to get progressively more difficult I believe and the Bible said it you know that those that are holy there's a time and we wonder which no matter how things get bad we believe that this will force some weary 
saying some unwavering or some wavering saying sorry to recognize where we are and bow their knees to the Lord but the more the times get treacherous the more things start to degenerate and disintegrate it is the more that some folks continue to walk contrary but I'm sounding the alarm one more time I am sounding the alarm in the house of the living God I am sounding the alarm so that the people of God may hear a certain sound it was Paul in first Corinthians that said look here if there is an uncertain sound how will the people know what to do so we're not making any uncertain sounds right now I want us to know in all certainty that there is no better down here and things are going to get worse but very soon a major major thing is going to happen the Lord himself is going to descend from heaven with a shout very soon a major change is going to come yes the, the watchman said earlier on uh, watchman what of the night and then the watchman return the night comet and then the morning the night speaks of darkness and dark days are here and it is going to get progressively worse it is going to get darker it is going to get more wicked it is going to get more terrible oh pastor can't you speak something nice let me tell you something nice then if you want a better tomorrow walk with Jesus right now forget about him pursuing all the secular things to get money you're going to find based on what we just read in revelation 13 that even the rich man is going to have to take the mark and any man that takes this mark is going to become the enemy of almighty god rough days ahead dark nights ahead serious things about to happen total catastrophe is about to come the night comet but then the morning I want you to know that a great day is coming a great day is coming and after the night and the darkness and the catastrophe there's going to be a time of rejoicing there's going to be shouting there is going to be rejoicing. Though not here. It's going to be on the other side. I want to stand and tell the saints of the living God this morning that I see trouble up ahead. Hallelujah. I want to stand and tell the saints of Almighty God this morning that I see dark days up ahead what is happening in, in Afghanistan right now where they have taken some Christians and have sentenced them to death and they are going through the process before they behead them is what's going to be happening in many places across the globe in a little while I see darkness up ahead before the Lord allows the angel to sound the trumpet, we're going to have some rough days. And I'm not talking about you going up the rough side of the mountain with the personal experiences that God has allowed you to go through. I'm talking about the days that are to come upon this land called earth blood is going to run a whole lot of things are going to happen and before the real thing come we will feel the dress rehearsal see the dress rehearsal and feel the effects what we are feeling and seeing now with this pandemic and lining up to take vaccine and all of those things is but a dress rehearsal for what is to come I believe the folks in their places of authority right now are tweaking and putting things together based on what is happening with this pandemic. 
so that when the real thing comes, they would have it all locked. This is not the time to be a wayward Christian. This is not the time to be wondering if you are saved. This is not the time to be wondering if you are in the church of the living God. I stand here as a watchman because the Bible said that he places the watchman. And if the watchman said his sword, which is the enemy coming and fail to warn the people and the sword come upon them and they die, they will die. But their souls are going to be required at the hand of the watchman. So this watchman is standing this morning. And I'm saying to the people of the Most High God. I see a dark day or dark days coming. I see things going beyond this pandemic into proportions that we have never dreamed of. And I am using this podium as my watchtower. And I am saying another time to the people of God, including myself, people, let us get it right. Something is about to happen. There is a change in the atmosphere. There is a shift all around us. We can sense it for those of us that are discerning. And I'm standing here at the watchtower. And I'm saying to you, let us get our houses in order. And do the things that we know that we must do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Rough days ahead. But then he said, night cometh, and then the light, the light will come, a new day will dawn, but only for those who saw the problem coming and moved to get their houses in order. So as a watchman, ministers, something coming can i blow the trumpet in zion when the soldiers of whole earth heard a certain sound of the trumpet you blow it one way and it meant to get up in the morning time they blew the trumpet to get up you know before the radio system came in you know how they communicated with soldiers around trumpets you know you heard a certain sound in the morning that means rise and shine you heard another sound, a trumpet, like what oh, we just hear. It means it's time to retire. Sometimes when the watchman way over yonder pick up dust coming all over and they blow, blow their trumpet to give to everybody in the camp, an army, enemy army is coming. Then they blow their trumpet with a different sound and that sound mean enemy is attacking and men know when they hear that sound they need to get up and grab their weapons and take position to fight the enemy I don't know what sound to make this morning but I am not going to be uncertain I want to be very certain and tell you that something is about to happen let's get our houses in order this is not the time to play church this is not the time to be sorry for yourself Self. This is not the time to be going through the motion. This is not the time to be feeding out what the world feels like. This is the time when the world is looking to leave the world and come to the church. Can you imagine people in the world want to come to church because they are fearful of what is happening in the world and simultaneously people in church looking to leave church to go taste the things of the world. Something wrong with that. But this watchman don't care. This watchman don't want no body blood to be upon his shoulder and out of love this watchman is giving a certain sound it is time to seek the lord it is time to fall in line and know who you are if you're a son of god serve him and if you want to give yourself to the devil serve him but one thing is certain can the watchman talk again and give a certain sound you cannot serve god and the devil you cannot have one foot in church and a foot in the world if god is god serve him and if Baal is God, then serve Baal. This is where we are. This is where we are. And serious days are ahead as I close. Get 
catastrophic things are to happen. And the responsibility is mine. In my quiet space, I will talk to anybody and everybody and share and break and dissect and then the word and then encourage and embrace. But in my in this public space, I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know who is hearing. I don't know the position of all the individuals in the house. And I'm speaking as a watchman to everybody, including me. We cannot serve God and the devil. And if we decide to walk away from God, let me tell you straight, hallelujah, that you are going in a direction that is going to take you to no other place but hell. Ah, don't let anybody fool you. Don't let those preachers that are looking for numbers to build up their church fool you and tell you that everything is all right. And the church is not a, 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 a place for the law. Don't do this and don't do that and don't do... The, oh, the church is a place of freedom. You do anything that you want. Lie from the pit of hell. You've got to walk according to how God wants you to walk. Let this watchman tell you the truth. And don't go after fables and go after things that is pleasing to the ears and will make life easier for you and will make you be able to more comfortably attach to the world and the things of the world and the look of the world and the system of the world. Don't do it. Believe me. Follow your heart. Follow your conscience. Follow the word. Follow the word. And let us do what we must do, children of God whom God loves and give his life for. Let us do what we must do to make it right and to make our calling and election sure. I close and I say to you one more time standing at this pulpit as a watchtower and I'm looking across and I'm saying to all of us I see the dust of the enemy rising they are coming full speed ahead into your camp. And I want to be a faithful watchman and give a certain sound. If you are not 100% with God and doing your best, you are going to be left behind. And that should not happen. None of us need be left behind none of us need to fall by the wayside let's make it right one more time give ourselves to God because after the night morning comet and won't it be a time when we get over yonder God bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus praise God today you you know you have heard you have heard the voice of the Lord you have heard what the man of God said and you are pricked in your heart and you want to respond to the voice of God today you know there should be a zoom number link that is a, that is scrolling across the screen right now and we're going to be inviting you to click on that, that link and we'll have in that room somebody will pray with you somebody will somebody will invite you to give your life to the Lord somebody will tell you you know how a, you know what are the steps towards God 
you know maybe you are sick maybe you are just confused and dismayed at what is happening again we are going to encourage you to click on that link today come in our zoom room we have people who will pray for you who will tell you what to do and who will introduce you to God amen finally I want to also speak to some folks before COVID you were on fire for the Lord before COVID you were you were on fire for the Lord but somehow you have a, you have allowed yourself to slip and you are now in a box in the states we all we want to implore you also to click on the link and join in that room and somebody will be praying for you somebody will be praying with you so that you can find God hallelujah a true profound word from the Lord today and we don't want to make it waste we don't want to just let it fall on deaf here we want to not react to this word but we want to respond and obey the, you know, the voice of the Lord and come back to him hallelujah hallelujah thank you lord thank you lord. we're gonna be praying and we're just gonna invite everyone here to join me in prayer join me in prayer lord jesus thou art great and greatly to be praised from the rising of the sun O oh god and to the going down of the sea lord jesus we want to thank you for your words we want to thank you for the minister Oh God, that you have laid your words on his heart and that you have, oh Lord God, instruct us. Dear God, we pray today that God, that it will not fall on deaf ears, Jesus. We pray today, oh God, that it will not fall on rocky ground, oh God. But we pray that we will respond, we will respond to the word, oh God. Because everyone is from it, Lord Jesus. God. Hallelujah. We pray for your great anointing. We pray, oh God, God, Jesus, that you will Let draw you men will unto done, you. Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray, oh God, that you will do a mighty pray, work, Jesus. God, Jesus. That you will keep her, Lord Jesus, God. Oh God, a work Lord, that only you that can do. Word, draw her, Lord God. Oh Lord God, we that pray that you will continue her. to speak to the Jesus, heart of men. Oh Lord God, we can pray that you will continue to lead them to the truth. We pray, Lord Jesus. Oh Lord God, God we pray that you will continue, oh God, Anoint to lead them saints. to you. Lord God, that you will reach out. Have your own way, oh God. Rain, Jesus. Let your rain flow. In Take the full name control, of Jesus, oh God. God. Hallelujah. Because no man cannot hit the things upon the Holy Hallelujah. Ghost, Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We pray, God, and that your church you will grow Lord Jesus. even in these hard in times. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, we give you glory. We pray that you will save soul, God. So that men will know word, that you are big and you're bad you and you can word. do whatever you want, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And that no man you, and no woman and there is no world system, oh God that can stop the movement of your church hallelujah do your thing God as only you can hallelujah thank you Lord glory <laughs> hallelujah rain Jesus rain thank you Lord hallelujah hallelujah
prepare to meet him. We will, you know, he's coming soon as a songwriter said. But are you prepared to meet him? You know, you can be prepared today. As I said before, you know, you can be prepared. You can make it in. There is yet time for you to make it in. Hallelujah. There is yet time for you to make it right with God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I implore you. I implore you. I implore you today to make that move towards God. Even in the privacy of your own home today, we say unto you, click on that link. Hallelujah. Somebody will be on the other end to pray with you. Somebody will be on the other end to lead you to the Lord. Do it now. Don't delay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take on the name of Jesus today. Is either you take on the name of Jesus today or you're going to take the mark tomorrow. Take on his name. In Jesus' name.
sorrow. No, no more burden. I shall bear. Just no more sickness. No more pain. And no more pardon. And no more